The final match did not end as they had hoped. But Canadian women's rugby team continued to have their best result of the season at HSBC Canada. Sevens tournament in Vancouver on Sunday. The women cleared a 10-point deficit level the match. But later backed out in a late attempt to lose 22-17 Fiji. The loss left Canada in 6th place. The previous best women's race was 8th in Cape Town, South Africa. There are so many good things to take away from this, said Kiara Wardley of Vulcan. Alta, who raised the Canadian fans in the 12th minute. Head coach Jack Hanrady said a few mistakes cost his team the win. We've got momentum. We just have to stick with it, Hanrady said. The men, who beat Australia upside down on Friday but missed the quarterfinals due to the points gap, were defeated 31-14 by South Africa their only game on Sunday and finished in 15th place a draw. It's a pity not to score, said captain Phil Berna. The poor finish was a blow to a men's team struggling to avoid relegation, which is ranked 14th in the World Rugby Sevens series with 19 points. New Zealand women qualify for the Paris Olympics The New Zealand women won their fourth tournament in a row with a 19-12 win over Australia. The win also secured the Black Ferns a spot at the 2024 Paris Olympics. The USA defeated France 19-7 for the bronze medal. In women, New Zealand is first 98 points, while Australia is in second place 84, the USA 82 and France 68 points. In men's, Argentina defeated France 33-12 to win their second tournament of the season. Australia beat Ireland 20-5 for the bronze medal. In the men's standings, New Zealand tops the list 107 points, followed by Argentina and South Africa with 86 points and Fiji 84 points. Men's gold medalists from Argentina and women's gold medalists from New Zealand pose for photos after their final win at BC Place in Vancouver on Sunday. At end of season, top four men's and women's teams will automatically qualify for Paris Olympics. Lindsay Aunt S co-captain Olivia Apps made a try against Fiji and made a comeback. Bianca Ferella of Montreal gave Canada's other try. 24 straight points in win over Ireland The women's day started with fancy Bermudez's double try-in. A 24-12 win over Ireland. The women were trailing 7-0 but countered with 24 straight points. The game changed when prop Olivia de Couvor from Ottawa took a hard hit early in the first half. It was a massive piece of memorial, Bermudez said. It really got our energy back. Apps gave it a try and kicked two conversions. Wardley also did an experiment. The result pushed Canadian women up two places in the overall rankings to eighth place with 26 points. The season has been a learning experience for a team of 14 players making their international debut. We said we were too young and inexperienced, Hanrady said. We don't want to rely on this line. We want to be recognized for our results. We've learned a lot this week. Now it's about having consistency. Organizers say the three-day event attracted 66,736 fans. The crowd at BC Place was adorned with elaborate and colorful costumes. There were feathered overalls and shiny wigs. Several pink pigs with floppy ears were sitting next to a swarm of bees. A group of hideous snowmen waved the Canadian flag. Victoria's Lachlan Kratz had a trial in the men's defeat to South Africa and kicked two converts. Jake Teal of Abbotsford, BC added an essay. The men's and women's teams took a roller coaster ride throughout the tournament. And the men probably deserved a better fate. The women benefited from a smaller space and a score gap that worked in their favor. This year's tournament has been expanded to include a full roster of 12 women's teams competing. Simultaneously with 16 men's teams Canadian women lost their opening games 28-7 to Ireland and 17-12 to the United States. Then beat Brazil 31-7 by rebound.
They finished Pool C with a 1-2 record but moved on because of the points difference. The top two teams from three women's pools, along with the top two third-placed teams, advanced to quarter-finals. The women then made a decisive effort in a 10-5 loss to New Zealand. The men looked dreadful with a 35-5 loss to Ireland in their opening match and then played one of the tournament's best matches to beat Australia 29-12. They beat Chile 35-7 on Saturday morning. Despite a 2-1 record, they failed to qualify for the medal round. The top two teams of the four men's pool continued on their way. The men's points difference made them third. They lost 19-14 to Spain in the ninth-placed quarterfinals. Men's interim coach Sean White saw positive things in his team's performance. I don't think we're happy. But we can certainly be proud, he said. I think we showed what we can do. It's just about repeated performance. Berna said the team is like a puzzle that has not yet been put together. We believe we have all the pieces, said the Vancouver native. We just need to put it together on a consistent basis. At risk of relegation the World Series is reducing number of men's core teams from 16 to 12 for 2024 season, equalizing number of women's teams and aligning it with Olympic competition structure. The men need collect enough points to move up 11th place or higher in the remaining three tournaments and avoid playing in the relegation playoffs. We're not hiding the fact that there was a relegation, White said. We're trying to give our best performance for every game and see where we're going.